Good morning and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Thursday, August the 11th, 2022, and this is episode 3862. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode, Good Soldier. Stay tuned. So it is 7.34 this morning as I'm recording this episode right now, but as soon as I finish this episode and post it, I'm going to be driving to the Veterans Hospital in Salem, Virginia. It's about an hour and 15 minutes away, and let me tell you what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be picking up a good soldier. I'm going to be picking up a veteran who's having surgery, even right now as we speak. His name is Christopher, if you could pray for him. But I'll be bringing him back. Now, I have had the wonderful opportunity to connect with a uh, veterans association here in Lynchburg, and one of my my dear brothers in Christ, uh, Tom Current, uh, helped me and uh, to get opportunity to be able to Uh, transport veterans in situations like this. So this is going to be my first one with the Veterans Association, and I'm so excited to be able to to pick up Christopher. I've given him a couple rides before on Uber, and uh, I've known a little bit about his story. My wife and I just love veterans. Thank you for your service, those who have served, those who are serving now. Uh, We just are about to finish reading a book this evening called The Forgotten 500. It's a powerful uh, story, a history story about the rescue of 500 downed American airmen uh, who had to parachute out uh, from planes that were crashing in, uh, in Yugoslavia. Such a powerful story. And reading those stories and other books that we've read just makes me appreciate the good soldiers. So pray for Christopher, pray for me to have a great uh, safe trip back, it'll be an hour uh, in 15 minutes or an hour and a half to be able to bring him back to his home, uh, just to encourage him, and I pray that it'll be a great, great time together. So if you're a veteran, thank you. I'm a veteran. I was I was a Navy veteran during Vietnam days, and um, I love veterans. Now, Second Timothy 2, 3 through 7. You, therefore, must endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Oh, Bruce, that's not what I wanted to hear today. Can you give me something encouraging? Well, this will encourage you if you will press into it. It's the truth. You, therefore, must endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No one engaged in warfare, whether it's physical warfare or spiritual warfare, entangles himself with the affairs of this life that he may please him who enlisted him as a soldier. And also, if anyone competes in athletics, he is not crowned unless he competes according to the rules. The hardworking farmer must be first to partake of the crops. Consider what I say, and may the Lord give you understanding in all things. What kind of hardship are you enduring today? May I just encourage you to bow before our Heavenly Father and trust Him because He is the one who enlisted us as soldiers. Be encouraged today. Be encouraged today. Father, I pray, Father, for this ride that's going to be coming up. I pray for safety as I drive to Salem, Virginia, and safety as I drive back. I pray for Christopher that you will bless him. Everything will go smooth with him, and we'll have a great opportunity to encourage each other on the way back. Help us today, Lord, to be good soldiers of Jesus Christ. In his name we pray. Amen. Hey, have a great Thursday. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy. <laughs>